Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. So we have seen a little bit of a decrease in some of those temperatures across the state of Texas. That's because that high pressure, again, that heat dome has been sitting over the western parts of the United States for the majority of the month, slid off towards the northeast. That's what's been seeing these higher temperatures in towards the uh, Mississippi River Valley, out towards Oklahoma City, St. Louis, again, Omaha, seeing some of those hotter temperatures. And again, we've seen the heat advisories, some of the excessive heat warnings. As we go in towards the weekend and the beginning of next week, that heat dome works its way back off towards the west. And it's going to see a return as it kind of works its way uh, further towards the west. It will bring those heat advisories kind of back into the state of Texas and I'll likely see an increase in for the Concho Valley as well. A little bit of shower activity, some storms making its way in towards northern parts of Illinois, in towards southern Wisconsin, out towards the Great Lakes area. A few showers kind of popping up into the Four Corners region, but otherwise not a whole lot of activity. Except for us here in Texas, some showers that were off to the coast of Brownswood, Brownsville. Uh, out in towards the Gulf of Mexico. Those have since dissipated. Now we've lost that daytime heating from the sun. Again, fairly quiet conditions. Just a few passing clouds. Temperatures running above average by about 3 degrees. Not just for the afternoon, but those overnight lows. 3 degrees above average for our high. Topped out at 102 today. And our overnight low last night only dropped down to 76 for our overnight low. So just a few degrees warmer, but pretty close to average. Nowhere close to any of those records. Not cooling down into the 60s and staying away from that 110 range. So we'd like to make sure we're not seeing those record heat uh, kind of days. 88 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. Dew points fixed at the 50 mark. 51 degrees for our dew points. And the winds right now out of the east at 7 miles per hour. But those winds have actually decreased pretty significantly across the majority of the area. Upper 80s and lower 90s, very similar to what we saw yesterday, in fact. Again, a lot of 88s across the map. Brady, Eden, Menard at 88, Mason, Ballinger, uh, Big Lake, and as well as Merson. So a popular number. Do have a couple of spots into the southern parts of the Concho Valley. Hanging on to some of those low 90s. 91 for Junction and Sonora. 90 degrees right now in Ozona. Well, again, that temperature change compared to this time yesterday. Uh, hasn't really been there. Again, barely changing a degree or two. We've been staying in a fairly quiet pattern and we're likely to continue that into a tomorrow as well. So expect uh, very similar conditions. If you enjoyed today, good news is you're going to love tomorrow. If you didn't like today, uh, bad news is you're not going to like tomorrow either because very similar conditions. Winds coming back down as we go into the evening and overnight hours. So that's going to continue to be the trend. Those winds could pick back up as we get in towards tomorrow afternoon. Again, we get the sun kind of heating things up. You see those winds kind of picking up from the south uh, during the afternoon hours. 75 for our overnight low. Quiet evening in store. A few passing clouds. And again, one or two. Well, for the most part, it's going to be a fairly quiet evening. Not a whole lot of activity. And then for tomorrow as well, similar conditions. Temperatures barely get into the triple digits could be a little bit cooler further towards the south. Some of our southern counties have only been reaching into the upper to mid 90s. So a few degrees cooler. Again, some of those northern spots have been barely reaching into the triple digit, though plenty of sun expected for the majority of the weekend forecast. Again, that high pressure really kind of been sitting off towards the northeast for a part. It starts to slide further towards the west. You see, it kind of has it bows back through the four corners region. That's going to keep that heat back in our place, back in the state of Texas and for the Concho Valley uh, as we go through the weekend in towards the beginning of next week. So that sees our temperatures kind of pick back up. Could see a return back to some of those heat advisors. Then we got to watch what it does going in towards next week because if it stays put into the southern plains, that's bad news for us getting any rain chances. That's going to keep things fairly hot and dry, hot and stable. Uh, not a lot of thunderstorm development expected. But as we get in towards the second half of the work week, we start to see the bullseye of it really start to slide further towards the back. That keeps the high pressure just off towards the west, out toward the Four Corners region, and that puts us on the weak side. This little bit of a uh, unstable side of that high pressure system that could start to work in a little bit of instability, a little bit of moisture that could spark a few isolated showers. So it's not going to be a complete washout. Not expecting a cold front to kind of sweep in here and just drench the Concho Valley, but uh, could see one or two very isolated showers kind of popping up as we get in towards the later parts of next week. Unfortunately, uh, that is a still a week away. Could see a few passing clouds as you go through the weekend. That'd be about all we can really expect going in towards next week. That cloud cover continues to can be very isolated in nature. A few clouds here and there. Then by the second half, again, we'll start to see the cloud coverage ramp up. A little bit more moisture, a little bit more instability. Could start to see the possibility of one or two very isolated showers. So fingers crossed that you're able to pick up some of that rain. Temperatures increasing as we go through the weekend into the beginning of next week. And those very slight rain chances start to make their arrival by the end of next week.